The streets of Khartoum transformed into a battle zone as demonstrators threw stones at police, while security forces responded with tear gas and water cannons. Sudan has faced widespread protests since a military takeover last October, but demonstrations took another dark turn on Monday after at least two protesters were shot dead by police. Medics in the country estimate that at least 80 people have been killed by security forces since the coup. The crackdown has not deterred protesters, but some say they are scared for their lives. We are now living in a very frightening situation. We are being silenced. There is suppression of freedoms, repression, killing and torture. Security forces deny opening fire on protesters, but Human Rights Watch says police have been seen shooting live ammunition directly at crowds. The coup led by General Abdel Fattah al-Burhan derailed a fragile pile-sharing agreement between the army and civilians. The deal was negotiated after the ouster of the country's longtime ruler, Omar al-Bashir. In his first interview on state television since the military takeover, Burhan condemned the pro-democracy protests. Whoever says this is a coup against legitimacy and democracy are those who lost power. We said it clearly, once political forces unite, we'll be able to hold dialogue with them. And if we agree to hand over power to them, and we've stuck by this until this very day. Several countries have called for the restoration of the civilian-led transition in Sudan. But hundreds of people, including politicians, have been arrested since October's coup. A transition could still be a long way off.